hello everyone welcome to my new video in this video we'll see how to insert data into google spreadsheet from unity app using some tricks with google forms this can be used in your unity app when you are trying to conduct some kind of survey but you do not have access to any database where you could store the data from survey and easily analyze it and there are many other ways how you can use this idea into your app first off let's create a google form go to google docs and choose forms and then start uh, with a blank form give it any name now also start adding uh, entry fields for your form as this is a simple form i'll add name email and phone number only after the form is created leave it open and move to unity app create a new project with any name and wait for it to load i'll give it a name uh, unity google form let's change the view to 2d and add a canvas I prefer having solid color instead of skybox. Now inside a canvas add a input field. I'll adjust uh, the input field by giving it a width and height. Also, let's change uh, placeholder text and the size of the text in input field and may also add just alignment. For email and phone, we can duplicate the name and rename it as email and phone over here at our uh, scene view all game objects are overlapped let's arrange them in order and also change their placeholder text do same for the email input field change the placeholder text let's move our input fields a bit upward on our UI now it's time we add a button uh, right click canvas go on, under UI select button you can adjust it uh, width and height like we did for the input fields now it's time to write some code select canvas and on inspector window go to the button and click on add component give it a name this will be a script so i'll choose send to google double click the script and open it with a editor on this default uh, unity code will not need uh, these start and update functions uh, let's start by defining our game objects for name, email, and phone. And also uh, strings to store data from those input field game objects. Now let's define a public void function name uh, send. This will be click event handler for our button on unity scene. So in this send function, we'll uh, store the data from the input field into the string variables. Okay, let's, let's first uh, rename this name to username.
we'll be using uh, www uh, classes from unity as it is a iterative approach we'll need to start a uh, coroutine so let's start coroutine named uh, post which uh, takes a parameter name email and phone number so let's define a uh, enumerator method named post with the name email and phone as parameter so don't get confused by the repeated use of these variable names because uh, inside uh, uh, every function this will be a local uh, variable for that function so we'll not have a problem let's create a new object of uh, www form and start adding data to the form by using its add field method add field method takes name and value as parameters we'll come to this name part later on Now that we have added data to form, we'll need to change form data to bytes to pass it to uh, constructor of www class. So let's create an object of www class and pass base URL, which we have not defined it, and uh, raw data to its constructor. and add a return so over at our form i'll show you how to get the base url for the form right click on the page and choose view page source so you'll see this big chunk of code where now we'll have to find the url simply press ctrl f that enables to find on page and you can type a uh, form space action it will take you to the part where the base url is so you can copy this url so for the base url we'll have to create a serialize field string and uh, store that uh, base url there Now that we have a base URL, we need name for each entry fields and it is also very easy to get. Over at our form, uh, right click on the name text field and choose uh, inspect element. Inside the, inside the name attribute of the input tag, you'll see some uh, text starting with entry followed by a dot and some numbers. Copy that and use it on the name field on the code and repeat the same process for email and phone numbers This will be all for the code part. Now we can move into the Unity. So let's connect our game objects to the script. Drag them to the script. So we have our Unity app, form and code ready. So now we need spreadsheet. On the edit page of the Google form, uh, go to responses tab and click on the green spreadsheet icon to create new spreadsheet and give it some name. I'll name it form unity responses. So now our spreadsheet is also ready. 
Back in Unity, let's uh, add a click event to the send button, which I forgot uh, before. Uh, choose button and in inspector, uh, click uh, plus sign on on click to add re reference. Drag the canvas to the object and select our public send function from uh, send to Google script. And you can start the app. So let's uh, give some dummy information here. and hit send. So over at our spreadsheet, we'll have to wait for a few seconds and then we'll see data on the sheet. So this is how you can uh, uh, input data from Unity app to Google spreadsheet using some tricks with uh, uh, Google Forms. If you think this video was helpful, click that thumbs up button. Let's see if I can uh, raise 100 likes for this video. And also don't forget to subscribe. I will be uploading more videos soon. Thank you. I have also added this project on GitHub. Find this project, use it for your own and also don't forget to start the project. Thank you.